Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you these Crockett and Jones cannon. Hand grade, monk strap, double leather sole, split toe, hand sewn apron. What does all that mean? We'll go through it shortly. But how did I come to be custodian? Well, they were on an auction site and uh, they were not, uh, they were listed at a low starting price and nobody seemed to be interested. Hmm. That was back in the day. I've had them about uh, 10 years, I would think. And I have sent them back to be rehealed to Crockett and Jones. I took them back. They seemed to think they hadn't seen them before, but not surprising. They seemed to think they were from the 80s or maybe the 90s. The reason um, I, they weren't listed as hand grade, but I saw the photos and I saw this particular emblem, if I hope you can see in there, the oval, which I think Crockett and Jones only uses for their hand grade collection, but they weren't listed as hand grade. So I bid on them and guess what? No, I think they're a little bit unusual because they are a monk strap, but uh, they're also quite substantial, as you can see. They're with a double leather sole. You can see the thickness of that there. So uh, slip-ons and monk straps tend to be lighter construction in my experience of, of looking at them. And I think that might be because there's quite a lot of force to bend that sole, which has to be bent as you do that so perhaps laces give a better grip for a stouter shoe than uh, slip-ons and so on the leather is a uh, I would say typical hand grade from my experience it's sort of, I wouldn't say spongy it's soft it's quite thick on these as you'd imagine because of the um, double leather sole concealed channel and I imagine it will be oak bark. It feels like it being really quite fine and smooth. I did wonder when I got them whether the sole had been replaced, whether they'd been sent back. Oh, I could see no sign of that. The only reason being that uh, there's no Crockett and Jones uh, stamping there. I don't think there was there on some of the early ones. It was higher up and wore off as you wore them. But uh, uh, these were not very worn when I got them. And I don't think it was there either, so I thought, oh, maybe they've gone back because a pair I sent back when they came back did have the stamping there originally when they came back from being completely resold. It was like this, but there was no stamp. So I wondered if they'd been sent back, but I don't think so because there's not much wear on them and also because the sock hasn't been replaced there. If you see one of my other videos, when they go back, they replace this or reline it and it comes to there and covers up some of the writing. So I think they're all original. Now, what did I say? Hand grade, I've explained that. Uh, monk strap, as you probably know, it's this method of fastening. So it's a bit like a slip-on. There is some elastic here. So you do get some give. And there, of course, with the monk strap, but there's the buckle. Now I'll show you something else. With these, now they're 10 EE. That's not a, EE isn't something they use today, as far as I'm, I know. I think it's E, F, and G, and maybe um, E being standard. I think E, E is a little wider than standard. And on my feet, they're fine with a thickish, not super thick, but just woolen winter socks, which one might wear with such a heavy shoe. But I wanted them a little snugger. I did do this adjustment here and make it tighter on the next uh, hole. But I thought, hmm... That was maybe a little bit too tight on the on my larger foot and also of course it put this tongue down a bit further by that amount as you can see so it uh, came down there and it uh, just sort of caught a bit or it just ruined the it just looked a bit uh, out of balance so what i've done here is i've done on the, any shoes i find a little loose is that if you can see there's um i cut out a piece of a uh, leather liner that goes in there then 
put it, cut it out in that shape, round, round there somehow, that sort of shape, and just use double-sided tape, and there you can see it. So that just brings that little bit of extra. I prefer to do that than put the liner in, because the liner tends to make my foot feel like it's sitting high in the shoe, and I don't like that. I like to feel my foot's right down in it, and this just makes it snug over the top. So uh, I recommend that, and of course it's completely reversible. Now, what else? Split toe. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll show you some photos, but not just yet. That is this. So as you can probably see, the toe is split and sewn on the inside. And then kind of smoothed over. Excuse me. <clears throat> so that's the split toe. Hand sewn apron. Now... I'm not certain that this is hand sewn, that's this apron here. That's a considerable upgrade on certain shoes. But looking at it closely, I uh, could see, to my eyes, that the stitching, if you like, is kind of human. I'll put a picture up of how they do this. So what I mean by that is, I can get the right angle. The distance between the stitching is very uniform, but not entirely so in some places. So I suspect, and I've seen the machine stitched uppers, and it's very regular. This has just got a slight uh, hand thing about it. You see, this would be machine stitching there, very regular. So, I believe that's a hand-sewn apron, which would make these uh, really quite an expensive shoe, double leather sole, hand grade anyway, hand-sewn apron, and a split toe, which probably costs a little bit more because more work has to be done into it. So, that's about it, we'll just uh, do the close-ups and um, see what you think as we go around. As I said, I took them back and had the heels done. Took them back to Crooked and Jones. They sent them back and had the heel done. And they, um, um, what would you say, conditioned the whole shoe, I noticed, when it came back. Very good. And of course, fully leather lined. The other one, just in case something pops up. A little bit of a scuff there, which will uh, polish out easily enough. I should have done that before the video, sorry about that. Give you an idea of the profile. Well, first of all, the toe cap, that way, that shape. Slightly chiseled, no? Heaven knows how they do all that. They've been doing it for years, of course. I would say a fairly plain waist. It's not um, wasted or, uh, what do they call it, fiddle back at all. So there you have them. Oh, I will show you the uh, 
inside the writing. So it's canon with two ends. Difficult to see. I think that looks good. Oh, sorry about that. What is that? Ah, comes off. Don't know what that is then. That's about it. See you next time.